the work with Alvin that's been done over the last 20 years has really focused on depths around 2,500 meters. And that really precipitated out of the discovery of deep sea hydrothermal vents. They're all about the same depth. And so that work was so interesting to the research community, right? The, the giant tube worms and clams and mussels and uh, exotic forms of life and new evolutionary lineages down there. And what's happening now is that our questions are leading us into the deep sea more. The key questions are how are things adapted? How are the proteins and the enzymes functioning when we go deeper? How has life evolved just to live in such extreme pressures? As we grow in our quest, scientific questions, Alvin's responding. The numbers of questions are gonna to continue to grow and, and we're gonna go after them with Alvin. The scientific inquiry that we've had in the deep sea has, has had tremendous questions about the evolution of life on Earth. And Alvin has sort of adapted to our questions. And our questions now are driving us deeper into the ocean, deeper to understand the adaptations these animals have uh, for living under high pressure, cold temperatures, pure darkness, uh, how they live off chemicals coming out of the, out of the sea floor. And so in response to that, you've got a vehicle that can go deeper now. That's the whole drive um, in terms of deep sea biology, chemistry, and geology. The one thing that I really love about Alvin is over the last 25 years, it's brought different groups of scientists together. It's brought biologists, microbiologists, geologists, geochemists, geophysicists, all coming together to, to, to answer similar questions that, that can only be answered if we work together. I can't understand the biology of a deep sea hydrothermal vent unless I understand the chemistry. That chemistry is dependent on the rocks that the water interacted with. And so it's in the microbes that are there that some of them are inside the animals and, and, and allow them to, to live. Others allow the animals to come and colonize an area. So they're all interwoven. And so Alvin has brought us together as a community and advanced the science much more rapidly than it would have without it.